Hey guys, it's your girl the virtual IT chick here to bring you another video. So I've been testing out the Apple Music Streaming Service against what I currently use now, which is Google Play Music. Um as far as interface goes, now let me tell you, I have a computer background. I've worked with Linux, I've worked with Windows, I've worked with all kind of Macs and a whole bunch of tablets, just different products running different operating systems. And I have to say, in the interface department, I was sort of confused. It's kind of hard to use. And that sounds weird, <laughs> but it's true. Because even though it's within your iTunes app, it seems kind of confusing compared to what I currently use like I said which is Google Play Music and it's pretty much straight to the point no second guessing anything um I'm using I'm currently using the three month trial whether I will continue that I seriously doubt it the only feature I found myself using is the Beats One radio station and the, you know, the live radio stations where you get the exclusive interviews and the actual radio interviews and things like that in the radio shows. Like I listen to um, the Pharmacy with Dr. Dre and the OVO station you know when Drake is on there um so I mean that's cool I like it um and what happens with that is I have a Galaxy S5 so I don't have a iPhone maybe you guys tell me if I'm missing something as far as um this streaming service goes with the phone you know you know is it better on there versus me just using it on my MacBook Pro because that's the primary device that I'm using it on and I only have my Android, a MacBook Pro and not even an iPod Touch, I have an iPod Classic so I was thinking how could I get this um, these programs these radio shows on my other device like when I'm not um, in front of my computer until the app is officially available on Android because I always miss the shows like I don't even <laughs> see the programming schedule so I always tend to miss it because I'm not in front of the computer I'm not listening to it so it just doesn't seem to work out so what I've come up with is an easy way for me to get the shows on my iPod Classic and or my MacBook Pro or my Android. So here's how you do that. First, you use your built-in QuickTime player. So I'm going to go to the QuickTime player and you open it and you go to File and Record Audio our new audio recording click on that um for me it's going to be built in internal microphone um this also works on the iPod I mean iPad or you could do this straight from your um iPhone so it pretty much works with any iOS device so once you have that, then you open up iTunes and go to any program you may have missed. And I have it to the Pharmacy with Dr. Dre, episode 2. And what you do is press play, press record.
Okay, I just wanted to record a little bit so I can show you how, the, how that this works. So there's the recording. See? Let's record. Once that is done, you can, oops, go up here and you could save it to anywhere on your computer or you can export audio only. Or you could export it to iTunes, like I said, if you export it to iTunes and then um, sync it to your iPod Classic. A non-touch iPod, let's just say that, a non-touch iPod. Or you can export it and click audio only. I'm going to just call this test. save it to my desktop and I'm going to send it to my phone using push bullet so attachment sending And it is here. And I could open it with the phone player on my phone, my default phone player. Um, or phone player, sorry. I mean, my default um, media player. Or I could download it to Google Play Music, which I'm going to hit that. And I could save it or I can listen to it and delete it. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks, guys.